Hey everyone, welcome to day 23 on Just a Papa and His Daughters of our countdown to Christmas. So tomorrow's Christmas Eve and the next day is Christmas. It's so crazy that we're already here. And so for today's story, I'm going to read How to Catch Santa, which is a great thing to think about with Santa coming tomorrow night. Crazy to be, crazy to believe. And so this book is from the, the how-to books like the How to Babysit a Grandpa, How to Surprise a Papa, things like that. So here is How to Catch Santa. And here's some notes before the story. It says, Dear Santa, please may I have a bike, helicopter, a boat, the moon, a zoo, a bottle of happiness, a genie, green hair. Thanks, Teddy Age 4. Then from Jess, Dear Santa, I would like magical shoes, swimming pool, a park ranger hat, a river or a sea. Thank you, Jess. Dear Santa, picture of you. Bring me presents. I would like your sleigh, please. Tom. P.S. I'm trying to catch you. Dear Santa, for Christmas, I would like world peace and a pony. Thank you, Eve. Dear Santa, from Carl, I would like... $20 billion, one shooting star spaceship, a tiger, new longer arms. And then Jerry sends, Dear Santa, I would like a robot and x-ray eyes for Christmas. Please also, if you have time, bionic legs. Jerry. Then from Tilly, Dear Santa, I'd be very happy if you could bring me a cloud or a doll's house. Thank you. Then Sam writes, writes Dear Santa, I would like the best present in the world. Please keep this letter and reuse for the next year. And then dad, dear Santa, anything but socks. Thanks, dad. After waiting for days and days, it's finally Christmas Eve. And that's when you can try to catch Santa. As you know, Santa's very busy and you won't be able to keep him for long. So plan ahead. Figure out now how to make the most of your time. First of all, don't you have a million questions to ask him? Questions for Santa. How do you stay clean? How do you squeeze down chimneys? What about houses with no chimneys? How fast do reindeer fly to get everywhere in one night? What's their fuel? Magic? Do elves ever sneak a ride in your sleigh? What about kids? How do you find kids who are away on trips? What's your favorite toy? Do you get mountains and mountains of letters? Who invents new toys at your workshop? The elves? Mrs. Claus? You? Do you really eat cookies at everyone's house? So many questions to ask him. Maybe you have things you want to tell him. A list of things to tell Santa. I'm trying very hard to be good. My sister is too, even if it doesn't look like it. Thank you for the presents. Sorry I always forget to send you a thank you note. I know what my mom and dad want. They were too busy to write to you. And maybe you have things you want to give him. Santa will love that. Things to give Santa. A headlamp for going down dark, dark chimneys. A nose warmer for cold sleigh rides. Drawings of Santa with your family. Homemade Christmas decorations for Mrs. Claus. I think he would love all of those. Now you know what you'll do once you catch Santa. It's time to figure out how to do it. Definitely don't try anything too wild and crazy, like lassoing Santa, distracting him with a giant candy cane, luring him into a snow trap, tra tying nets between palm trees. Instead, be crafty, be clever, be gentle. If you're very lucky, you will actually catch Santa, but you might only catch a glimpse of him or you might just find Santa's been here clues. Plan for all of these possibilities. Early on Christmas Eve, write Santa a note and fill it with glitter. And when he opens it, glitter will sprinkle all over him and he'll leave a trail. That's a Santa's been here clue for sure. Scatter carrots in your yard or on the windowsill. If they disappear, that's a reindeer have been here clue. Write Santa rid riddles. But don't give the answers. Riddles for Santa. Bake him cookies. Instead of putting them by the tree, draw arrows leading to your room. 
and string bells and chimes above the cookies. That way, he'll make a racket and wake you up. Now, try to be patient. While you wait, sing Christmas songs and read books about Santa. Maybe you'll even get some new Santa catching ideas. Ask your mom and dad if they ever tried to catch Santa when they were little. Do they have any tricks? Check with your grandma and grandpa too. They might have some. When it starts to get dark, Santa and his reindeer begin their rounds. Have everyone keep an eye out the window. If your family makes lots of noise, laughing, eating, talking, playing games, say shh every now and then and listen for Santa sounds. Santa sounds include Santa doing stretches on your neighbor's roof, sleigh bells, reindeer whinnying in the distance, elves giggling. You can also hear ho, ho, ho. When you start to get sleepy, start to make last minute preparations. Leave the Christmas tree lights on to help Santa see his way around. Rudolph with his nose so bright can't help him from the roof. Set out your Santa riddles with a note that says, for help with the answers, wake me up. Santa won't be able to resist. Is your puppy a good watchdog? A good gentle watchdog? If yes, then let him stay in your bedroom. Remember, Santa won't come to your house until you're asleep. Before you lay your head on your pillow, peek out the window one last time. Good luck catching Santa and... Merry Christmas! And if you didn't catch Santa this time, don't worry, there's always next year. All right, and let me read these thank you notes that some of the kids sent. Thank you, Santa. I wanted a pony, but I'm very happy with my doll's house. Happy Christmas, love, Eve. Hi, Santa, here's a picture for you. Thanks for my presents. Thank you, Santa, for giving me such amazing presents. See you next year. Dear Santa, I wish you a lovely Christmas. Thank you very much for all the fantastic presents. To Santa, I like your beard. Thank you for the presents. To Santa, you are the best. Thank you for my new toy car. To Santa, thank you. P.S. I hope to catch you next year. To Santa, thank you for my beautiful presents. To Santa, I want to thank you for my presents. My cat likes his too. Here is a drawing of him. And then the funny one from Dad. Thanks for all the socks, Santa and Dad. Alright, hope you guys enjoyed that story, How to Catch Santa. It's a really fun, funny, entertaining book. Um, and tomorrow, join us for Christmas Eve which is very crazy but looking forward to spending this time with my family and i hope you guys are too wherever you are hope you have a good one bye guys